They might have no self-confidence. They may even be very shy, for example. In which case, you know, meeting somebody in a public place is, is quite good for security and peace of mind. The Short Trust project that I'm involved in is called Progress to Work and it's funded by the Job Centre. My job involves working with clients who have a substance misuse issue, trying to identify what they want to do with the rest of their life. I was in a prison cell. I'd, I'd been on drugs for the last year and a half and my life just went spiralling down. But then I went to an organisation called CIFAR and they gave me help. And after being with CIFAR, I moved into an organisation called Amber, uh, where I met Andy. Working on a one-to-one -one basis, I will identify training courses or employers they could approach, even to the point of approaching them for them. Um, but it depends because I like to empower my clients by giving them things to do and jobs to take on. He helped me line myself up to go to college, to study counselling, and if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have uh, been looking in that direction. All the residents tend to look forward to him coming. The word gets around that you know Andy's a, a very upfront, good guy to work with. No, here we go then. We'll have a look at these um, jobs and see what you think about. Um... Andy is a source of inspiration and motivation. He's always on hand. He's always got an um, answer to any question that I've got. Progress to work has really given me that clear direction of where I want to go in my life. Because of my own personal history of, of having uh, problems finding work and keeping work and also health issues. I see it as a challenge, a big challenge to help other people. Andy's been like my right hand man, keeping me in line and keeping me on the straight and narrow, which is really good. They can relate to the problems he's had, so you know they instantly want to engage with him. And he's a fantastic role model.